Hello everyone and welcome to CAD CAM C tutorials. This is the 13th video in the series of Creo Beginners tutorial and in this video we are going to create a 3D model that you can see on the screen right now. So let's begin it. So let us first close it. We'll go for file and select here new. Select here part and uncheck here use default template. Click on ok. Now from here we'll select solid part millimeter kg second and ok now here you can find typical dimensions of this 3d model so first we'll create this straight portion and to create this we have to create two concentric circles with a diameter of 54 and 64 and then we have to extrude it for 200 mm so we'll go to the creo parametric go for the sketch and select here this right plane sketch and sketch view now we'll select here circle and we'll create two concentric circles like this. The diameter of bigger circle is of 64 and the diameter of the smaller circle that is of 54. After creating two concentric circles, we'll exit the sketch. We'll go for the extrude. Now from here we can see that the length is of 200 so we'll enter here 200. And from this drop down, we'll select here the mid plane and OK. After creating this straight pipe, we have to create here this perpendicular. And for that, first we have to create one plane at a distance of half of 200, that is of 100 mm. So we'll go to the Creo parametric. We'll select here the datum plane and select here this plane for the reference. The distance is of 100 mm. So we'll enter here 100 and click on OK. Now after creating this plane, we have to create here one circle with the diameter of 64 mm. So we'll select here the sketch, select here this plane, sketch and sketch view. Now we'll select here circle and create one circle over here. Now the diameter is outer diameter of this pipe that is of 64. Now after creating this circle, We'll exit the sketch. Now we'll select here extrude. Now first we'll reverse the direction and from this drop down we'll select here up to the next surface and OK. Now after creating this part we have to make it here hollow and for that we'll select here sketch. Select here this face sketch and sketch view. Now we'll select here circle and we'll create one circle over here like this. Now the diameter of the hollow portion is of 54, so enter here 54. Now after creating this circle, we'll exit the sketch. Now we'll select here extrude. Now first we'll reverse the direction and from this drop down we'll select here this option that is extrude to intersect with the selected surface. Now here we'll select here this surface. So you can see here that the extrusion has taken place up to the surface. So it has created one continuous passage. After creating this, we'll select here OK. Now we have to create the same portion on another side of this straight pipe also. For that, we'll select here both this extrude. Now we'll select here mirror. For the mirror plane, we'll select here this plane. Now you can see here preview of the part and click on OK. Now from here, you can see that it has created a continuous passage you can see over here. Now after creating this we have to create this one that is the fifth one. To create this we have to first create one plan at a distance of 100 mm. So we'll go to the Creo parametric. Select here the datum plan. For the reference we'll select here the top plan. And the distance is same as 100 mm and click on OK. After creating this plan we'll go for the sketch and select here this plan sketch and sketch view. Now here we have to create one circle with a diameter of 64 mm. So again we we'll select here circle and create one circle over here like this. The outer diameter is of 64 so enter here 64. After creating this circle we will exit the sketch. Now we will go for the extrude. Now first we will reverse the direction and from this drop down we we'll select here up to the next. 
and okay now after creating this portion we have to make it here hollow and again we'll go for the sketch select here this face sketch and sketch view now here also we have to create one circle with the diameter of 54 mm so here the diameter is of 54 now after creating this circle we'll exit the sketch now again we'll go for the extrude and first we'll reverse the direction from this drop down again we'll select here the up to intersect the surface and now this time we'll select here this surface over here now you can see here that it has created one hollow portion so we'll just click on ok now after creating all the interconnected pipes we have to create the ribs that you can see over here now to create the ribs first we have to create the profile of the rib and for that first we'll create one line now here you can see that the end point of the line are at a distance of 50 mm from the respective axis and here the thickness of the rib is of 5 mm so we'll go to the creo parametric go for the sketch now we'll select here the top plane as a sketching plane sketch and sketch view now we'll select a line and we'll create one line like this now after creating this line we'll select here the dimensions now we'll select here end point of the line then we'll select here this reference geometry or the axis and then we'll select here the scroll button the distance is of 50 mm so we'll enter here 50 again we'll select here this end point select here this reference geometry and press here scroll button this distance is also 50 mm so enter here 50 now after creating this line we'll exit the sketch now we'll go for the rib and select here the profile rib now here you can see the preview of the rib that is going to be created and the thickness of rib is of 5 mm so we'll enter here 5 now after creating this rib we'll select on ok now we have to apply the round at the ribs and for that we'll select here round the round radius is of 2.5 so enter here 2.5 now we'll select here both these edges like this and click on ok now we have to create pattern for this rib and the round feature so here we'll select this rib press ctrl and select here the round then we'll go for the pattern and select here the geometry pattern from here we'll select here axis because we want to create the circular pattern for the axis we'll select here this vertical axis now here you can find the preview of the location of the ribs and click on ok now after creating the ribs on the horizontal plane we have to create the rib on the vertical plane also for that also we'll go for the sketch and select here this plane sketch and sketch view now here also we'll create one line over here like this now again we'll go for the dimensions now we'll select here the end point of the line select here this reference line and press here scroll button this distance is of 50 mm for this end point also select here this end point select the reference geometry and scroll here the distance is 50 mm now after specifying distance of endpoints of this line we'll exit the sketch now we select here the rib and select here profile rib now here also the depth or the thickness of the rib is of 5 mm so we'll enter here 5 and click on ok now after that we'll go for the round and the radius of round is of 2.5 now we'll select here both the edges of this rib and click on ok now after creating the rib and the round feature we have to select both this geometry then we'll go for the pattern and select here geometry pattern from here we'll select axis because we want to create the circular pattern and for the axis we'll select here this vertical axis now here you can see the preview of the locations of the rib and we'll just click on ok so here you can see that we have created the entire part and now we'll go for the appearance and for that we'll select here the view select here appearance from here we'll select here the plastics 
and plastics gloss. Now we select here this grey color. Now we will select the entire part and click on OK. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please hit on the like button, share it, and subscribe to this channel, CADCAMC Tutorials. Thanks.